Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for a closing and award ceremony for First Lego League Challenge and First Lego League Score in Ohio. Um, we're really happy that you're here and um, are, are looking forward to celebrating our teams today. For those of you who don't know, this is actually our 20th season uh, being the partner in Ohio. What an interesting season for our anniversary year, right? Um, first, uh, First Lego League has actually existed since 1998. And uh, that year there were 200 teams. Um, today, there are over 300,000 kids participating in over 100 countries. In Ohio, we typically have around 500 teams, but this year we had 163 register and just about 100 minute, made it to the competitions in January. So for those of you joining us for, and, and you were able to compete in January, this is a big deal. And uh, it, is, it is quite an accomplishment. This has been a season like no other. Uh, we've heard from some of our veteran coaches who've been doing this for um, some of them over a decade that this season has been so challenging. They're not sure, but maybe it was even more difficult than their rookie season. And, and on top of that, some of you are actually rookies this year. And for the rookies who've made it this far, that is uh, commendable. And we all owe you a big round of applause. Um, hopefully we will be back in person for next season. We're really looking forward to it. Um, I, I miss seeing the teams, although I, I really actually enjoyed getting to see uh, right into your practices. Um, the robot run recordings were some of my favorite things to watch this year. Uh, we might have actually gotten to know you a little better than we do at the tournaments because you were more relaxed and that that was awesome. So um, I do before we get started on Things like awards need to let you know, um, we need to give some thanks to sponsors. Uh, First Lego League Globally is sponsored by Rockwell Automation, the Lego Foundation, and the Lego Group. Here in Ohio, we are fortunate to also be sponsored by Rockwell Automation up in Northeast Ohio and the Ohio Educational Outreach Foundation. Um, their support makes our seasons possible. And um, this year their support allowed us to not charge any participation fees for the tournaments in Ohio. So we very much appreciate them and, and everything that they do for us. Um, in addition to the first Lego League Challenge Awards, we're going to be celebrating some first Lego League Explore teams this morning. We had six first Lego League Explore teams um, participate in remote festivals this January. And uh, they were also a lot of fun to watch. Coaches, we're going to be doing this in February and May. And if anybody wants to be a reviewer for First Lego League Explore, it's amazing. Um, but these First Lego League Explore kids are in kindergarten through fourth grade. And they do similar research to our First Lego League Challenge participants, um, not on the same scale, um, uh, but, but the same topic. So they've also been researching fitness this year. and um, building a model with mechanized components and some, some coding. So it's, it's really exciting, it's really fun to watch and um, they're a lot of fun to listen to. So we have six teams to celebrate this morning and uh, let's get to that. The first team that we are celebrating, uh, the award they're being recognized with is the Team Poster Award and that's Team 7650, the Building Buddies. Receiving the Team Model Award, Team 11124, the Boro Brick Builders, also known as the Killer Bees. Receiving the Coding Award, Team 11123, Awesome Builders. The Teamwork Award, Team 11291, uh, Masterminds. The Core Values Award, Team 23458, Lego Kitty. And the Challenge Solution Award goes to 23742, Team 1. Uh, we're really proud of these teams and hopefully uh, they'll get a chance to watch this and, and, and see their names on the screen. And all of these teams will uh, receive a team trophy and medals for participants in the mail soon. 
Oh, for our first Lego League Challenge events, uh, volunteers. You know, every year we, we give a thank you to our volunteers and it's amazing what our volunteers do for us in the state of Ohio, uh, what they do for teams. Um, we are so lucky, our volunteers go above and beyond like no other region. And in this season in particular, we had volunteers who adapted constantly as, as our plans changed. Uh, we made significant changes just, just weeks and, and a few times days before the events, um, always trying to make them better, always trying to improve the experience for teams. And our volunteers rolled with it every time. And um, we heard from them after they were refereeing and judging teams and everyone was so excited and they had their silly hats on and um, they just felt like, like First Lego League was really happening. And uh, I really appreciate them. Uh, all of you made this possible. Uh, we had judges and refs and Zoom organizers um, all across the state and uh, we appreciate every one of you. I do wanna call out some specific volunteers. Um, these folks really made this season happen. Um, all of these volunteers either hosted a tournament, they were a judge advisor, or they were a head referee. And um, they basically did a part-time job for us this year. And they worked so hard to make, make these events happen. Um, I was constantly hearing about how they were adapting and helping teams when you were having technical difficulties and troubles. And uh, they were in constant communication with me and making sure we were doing everything we could um, to make, make the season positive and, and rewarding. And I just want to thank each and every one of you. Um, we're actually going to recognize all of you as outstanding volunteers of the year. <laughs> and um, there's a special award that's, that's gonna be shipped to each of you for that recognition. Um, the, this season truly would not have been possible without, without you. And um, that's why I'm calling you the Make It Happen volunteers. And I can't express enough um, how much I appreciate each and every one of you and how much time you gave to us and the teams. And teams, if you know these folks, uh, if you have their email addresses, especially the tournament directors, you should, please shoot them a thank you. They really, they really made this happen. And coaches, <laughs> if there ever was a year that you earned your coach stripes, it is this year. Uh, the challenges that you faced this year um, were seemingly insurmountable and, and yet you conquered them. Um, the, we asked the kids to tell us what makes their coaches great and reading the nominees, the nominations actually brought us to tears. And um, I think they would bring you to tears too. In fact, we're gonna try, <laughs> we're gonna see if we can do that. Um, we asked the teams to tell us what made you great. And uh, here's a little video to show you what the teams had to say.
So how about that? <laughs> um, that brings to mind one of my favorite Dean Kamen quotes. Um, for those of, those of you kids who are new, you might not know Dean Kamen is one of the founders of FIRST, um, a personal hero to a lot of us. And uh, I was sitting in a room when he said this, the first time I heard him say it, we aren't using kids to build robots. We are using robots to build kids. And I can say with absolute certainty, um, all of you have done that. And um, we just didn't see a way um, to choose a coach or mentor award for the qualifiers. And we have decided that um, it can't be a competition this year and you're all tremendous. And we are going to send every team a plaque so the kids can present it to their coaches and um, recognize each and every one of you with an outstanding uh, coach and mentor award for the year. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you for all you've done. Um, before we get into the awards from these qualifiers, I do wanna talk about the Global Innovation Award. Uh, the Global Innovation Award um, in Ohio, we will be able to nominate three teams to this award. It's uh, an award for the project specifically. Um, and even more specific than that, focusing on your innovative solution. Coaches were sent a list of questions that teams should prepare a, a written response to. And there's also an opportunity to provide some supplemental documentation if you would like. And there is a separate rubric for this. Um, it's optional. Teams do not have to participate in it. But it is another way to move forward. There will be um, a Global Innovation Award event in June. Uh, it will be available to 60 teams uh, worldwide, 20 from First Lego League Challenge, 20 from First Tech Challenge, and 20 from First Robotics Competition. If you don't know, Ohio has a pretty strong history with the Global Innovation Award. Um, in all of the years that it has been in existence, we've had a team make it into the top 20. We've had a team win twice, um, win the, the best project in the world. And uh, three of our teams have been runners up, including this past year when an, an unprecedented fashion, two Ohio teams came in as runners up. So we finished second and third place globally. And those teams are actually featured in this promo video for the Global Innovation Award. Uh, let's check it out. We just wanted to improve everyone's lives. This year, we really wanted a project that could help kids in our own backyard. Being innovative is answering the questions that haven't been answered yet. Our goal is to keep the human race safe from pathogens. This voice board will help kids with nonverbal disabilities communicate what they want to do. We are a nonprofit bringing the food to the people. You are the winners of Global Innovation Award presented by Disney. I'll resend out the questions and instructions for teams to be able to submit um, and look for those in your inbox this weekend. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. We will accept submissions up until February 15th. All right, without further ado, let's talk awards. Um, so we had eight qualifiers take place over three weeks. Uh, initially, each of these events had 20 teams participating. And um, as the day, as the events approached, sometimes even the day of, we had teams withdrawing completely. We had teams moving to May. There was a lot of turmoil and um, hopefully you didn't feel that too much on your end, but I do know there were some schedule changes that took place because of this. And, and I really do appreciate everyone's flexibility. Um, it was essential this year. Um, so thank you for that. Thank you for putting up with us and thank you for hanging, for sticking it out. I'm really proud of everybody. Let's talk about our first award. Um, we're gonna do this for all of the events and my plan is to describe the award the first time it's coming up. So our first award is the Core Values Award. Uh, the team who receives this award displays extraordinary enthusiasm and spirit, knows they can accomplish more together than they could as individual and shows each other and other teams respect at all times. 
Our first Core Values Award winner is Team 46406, Amazing Army of Axolotls from Dublin. The next award is the Innovation Project Award from Dublin. The winner of this award uses utilizes diverse resources for their innovation project to help them gain a comprehensive understanding of their problem, have a creative, well-researched solution, and they effectively communicate their findings to judges and the greater community. From the Dublin event, the winner of the Innovation Project Award is Team 3892 Flapper Doodles. Next is the Robot Design Award from Dublin. The winner of this award uses outstanding programming principles and solid engineering practices to develop a robot that is mechanically sound, durable, efficient, and highly capable of performing challenge missions. Dublin awarded this to Team 17272, Misfit Mechanical Mages. We now have um, some different awards. The Engineering Excellence Award recognizes a team that demonstrated strength in, in all judged areas. Dublin awarded this to Team 3670 Fitness Nuggets. The Rising All-Star Award recognizes a team that the judges notice and expect great things from in the future. Dublin's awarding this to Team 34447 MechTech. The Robot Performance Award, of course, recognizes the team that scored the most points on the field. And for Dublin, that was Team 37575. How about it? With 415 points. And that brings us to our Champions Award from the Dublin tournament. And the Champions Award. Uh, celebrates a team that embodies the first Lego League Challenge total experience by fully embracing the core values while also achieving excellence and innovation in robot performance, robot design, and innovation project. The Champion Award winner from the Dublin Qualifier is Team 37575, how about it? As the Champion Award winner, How About It will be advancing to the Ohio Championship. Additional advancing teams will be announced at the end of this presentation. All right, let's move forward to our next event and find out who their award winners are. The Core Values Award from the Lakota Thunderhawks qualifier is Team 50962 Fitness Fighters. The Innovation Project Award winner from Lakota, Team 38303. I believe I've abbreviated their name, but I find it very interesting. The team that cannot be named, but is also named the Science Sisters. The Robot Design Award from the Lakota Tournament goes to Team 38134, the Big Bad Brick Builders. The Rising All-Star Award from the Lakota event is awarded to Team 50695, Springboro Jedis. The Breakthrough Award recognizes a team that has demonstrated a breakthrough and significant discovery in at least one of the four areas, and the Lakota event is awarding that to Team 7281, Techno Warriors. That is a repeat and we're going to skip it. <laughs> the Robot Performance Award from Lakota goes to Team 38134, the Big Bad Brick Builders. I didn't put their score on that screen, but it looks like that was a 390. And the Champions Award goes to Team 1923, Robo Raptors. As the champion, Robo Raptors are guaranteed an advancement to the Ohio Championship. All right, let's move forward into our next event. Neobots, 
where the Core Values Award is given to Team 35773 Thunderstruck Aviators, also known as TSA. The Innovation Project Award winner for the Neobots event goes to Team 50712 Exploding Watermelons. The Robot Design Award from the Neobots event is awarded to Team 37732, Power Pandas. The Engineering Excellence Award is also an award that celebrates a team that demonstrated a balanced strength in all three judged areas. And Neobots is giving that award to Team 20136, Robo Lego Geek Squad. The Robot Performance Award from the Neobots event is awarded to Team 37732, Power Pandas, with a score of 365 points. That should bring us to our Champion Award from the Neobots event, and the champion is... Team 37893, Type Team Name Here. As the champion from this event, Type Team Name Here is guaranteed a spot at the Ohio Championship. That might be my favorite name this season. There are a few contenders, but this one's a good one. All right, let's move forward into our next event, the New Albany event, where the Core Values Award was given to Team 37348, Charged Up. New Albany's Innovation Project Award, Team 353, Lego Maskers. The Robot Design Award was earned by Team 45562, The Growling Gears. The Rising All-Star Award to Team 35572, A Team. The Engineering Excellence Award from the New Albany Qualifier, Team 38. 182 Masked Mechanics. The Breakthrough Award from the New Albany event has been awarded to Team 25273 Loading. The Motivate Award recognizes a team that embraces the culture of First Lego League through team building, team spirit, and displayed enthusiasm. New Albany has chosen Team 38210, New Bremen Legacy, to receive this award. Robot Performance Award from the New Albany Qualifier goes to Team 2751, Lego Legion, with 460 points. That should bring us to the Champion Award winner for the New Albany Qualifier, and the Champion's Award goes to... Team 2751, Lego Legion. Lego Legion is guaranteed a spot at the Ohio Championship. All right, let's keep moving forward. Pirates of the Lego Storm awards the Core Values Award to Team 38060, Lego Moji. <laughs> The Innovation Project Award goes to Team 18368, Waco Rockets. The Robot Design Award from the Pirates of the Lego Storm Qualifier goes to Team 297, Brainbots. The Rising Chair All-Star Award is given to Team 45214, Usual Suspects. The Engineering Excellence Award recipient is Team 46806, Taco Bots. The Robot Performance Award goes to Team 297, Brain Bots, with our state high score of 490 points. That should bring us to the Champions Award from the Pirates of the Lego Storm Qualifier. 
And the champions award winner is team 51361 Raider Rebellion. Raider Rebellion is guaranteed a spot in the Ohio Championship. All right, let's move on to our next event. The Core Values Award from the Scarlet and Gray Qualifier, hosted by an alumni group at Frost, Team 51188, Robo Rockers. And Frost is at Ohio State University. I don't think I was clear right there. The Innovation Project Award is given to Team 44276, Gyro Lions. The Robot Design Award goes to Team 355, Ross Mythical Dragons. The Breakthrough Award is given to Team 45141, Spaghetti Slurpers. The Robot Performance Award from the Ohio State event goes to Team 45871, Positive Protons, with 440 points. That should bring us to our champion from the Ohio State Tournament, and our Champions Award winner is... Team 45871, Positive Protons. On to the Sylvania STEM Center qualifier with the Core Values Award going to Team 50927, Neon Bots. The Innovation Project Award goes to Team 51485, JC Botics. The Robot Design Award goes to Team 51294, Robo Active X. The Engineering Excellence Award, Team 45719, The Six Dynamites. Robot Performance Award, Team 50927, Neon Bots, with a score of 390 points. Which brings us to our Champions Award winner from the Sylvania STEM Center Qualifier, Team 4075, Striped Mike. We come to This Is The Tournament You Are Looking For, hosted by our first senior mentor, Andy Yantes. Uh, the Core Values Award goes to Team 16792, The Waldos. The Innovation Project Award winner is Team 357, Snake Bites. Robot Design Award goes to Team 33533, The Five Elements. The Rising All-Star Award winner, Team 51282, Lego Fighters. Engineering Excellence is awarded to Team 45608, Aerobots. The Everybody Moves Judges Award goes to Team 36408, Titanics. Robot Performance Award goes to Team 19278, Granville Magic Builders, with a score of 385 points, which should bring us to our Champions Award winning team from This Is The Tournament You Are Looking For. Team 19278, Granville Magic Builders. As I've said a few times, we are exceptionally proud of every team that made it to a competition this season. Um, that has been quite a feat. Uh, I, I'm, I'm unbelievably proud. I admire you. I'm in awe. And it, it has been a joy to watch you. Um, I've enjoyed talking to your coaches this year, even when you were worried. Um, and it, it's just been, it's been something to watch. And um, I can see why we have such a strong program in Ohio. We have the best coaches, the best volunteers, and I'm really happy to announce 
the following 58 teams who have qualified for the Ohio Championship. In random order, here we go. Team 5736 Technobots. Team 50695 Springboro Jedis. Team 51631 Raider Rebellion. Team 37732 Power Pandas. Team 36408 Titanics. Team 357 Snake Bites. Team 37575, how about it? Team 297, Brain Bots. Team 20316, Robo Lego Geek Squad. Team 46368, Lords of the Legos. Team 353, Lego Maskers. Team 37348, charged up. Team 39189, the Country Club. Team 40568, Franklin Monroe Bots. Team 50962, Fitness Fighters. Team 46406, Amazing Army of Axolotls. Might need some help getting that on the back of a shirt. Let me know if you can be called AAA. Uh, team 51485, JC Botics. Team 354, Data Boys. Team 38134, The Big Bad Brick Builders. Team 50927, Neon Bots. Team 45562, The Growling Gears. Team 26520, Motion Motivators. Team 46806, Taco Bots. Team 46400, Blockheads. Team 45608, Aerobots. Team 5544, Awesome Bots. Team 16792, The Waldos. Team 33309, The Warrior Bots. Team 38210, New Bremen Legacy. Team 35772, a team. Team 45871, positive protons. Team 1923, Robo Raptors. Team 51294, Robo Active X. Team 7281, Techno Warriors. Team 4075, Striped Might. Team 355, Ross Mythical Dragons. Team 44276, Gyro Lions. Team 18368, Waco Rockets. Team 35773, Thunderstruck Aviators. Team 3039, Water is Wet. Team 45214, Usual Suspects. 38182, Masked Mechanics. 38303, The Team That Cannot Be Named, Science Sisters. 38060, Lego Moji. 45719, The Six Dynamites. 
45141 Spaghetti Slurpers. 17272 Misfit Mechanical Mages. 33533 The Five Elements. 39892 Flapper Doodles. 37893 Type Team Name Here. 2751 Lego Legion. 19278 Granville Magic Builders. 34447 Mech Tech. 51571 The Legends. 3670 Fitness Nuggets. 50712 Exploding Watermelons. 51188 Robo Rockers. 5276 Octobots. And that's a wrap. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much for an amazing qualifier season. You've made it a lot of fun. Uh, and again, we're just so proud of all of you. Uh, coaches should receive rubrics in their email today coming from flltournament.com. I know when we were sending out the team links, some of you didn't get that. So if you don't get the email today, um, shoot me an email tomorrow and I'll send yours out individually. That seemed to work uh, last time for the coaches who didn't, didn't get the emails. Um, from the mass email blast. Um, high fives and admiration for everybody. And we're looking forward to seeing teams at the championship and going forward. And we're really looking forward to seeing you in person. Have a great weekend, uh, stay safe. Uh, we're getting a lot of snow. Uh, this would have actually been the in-person championship weekend and we might've been having a snow event. So uh, that actually is kind of nice <laughs> that we're not having a, a canceled championship. So. Uh, looking forward to that remote event. So take care, everybody. Thank you so much.